Offshoring is big business in India, where hundreds of thousands of people commute into big cities like Bangalore for jobs like call center operator or product troubleshooter. Xerox recently opened a research lab in Chennai in part to help develop technologies for pushing office work to some of India's more than half a million villages. Company CTO Sophie Vanderbroek spoke with Technology Review about this research. Most of the growth in the world today is occurring in the emerging world in countries like India, China. And so if you look at India today, um, you, you visit cities like Chennai or Bangalore or Delhi, they, they keep growing. I mean, many, many uh, large buildings going up, uh, very, very busy, many cars. I mean, for individual workers to come to the office often takes hours in the morning. Uh, so, but that's how most of the jobs are done, especially the knowledge work is done in a country like India today. Today also, many of the business process service outsource providers, uh, including us, in fact, have large buildings in major cities. Like in Bangalore, we have 3,000 employees. They come into, into a building and do a lot of the document processing work for clients around the globe. And so, again, these people have to often come from very far away to come in the building. And so we're figuring out uh, how can we allow the people to actually do the work from within the local village they live. Uh, again, the bandwidth problems, the power problems. So understanding instead of having, for example, 3,000 people in one building, how could we have 10 buildings uh, or 100 buildings with 30 people each uh, to get the job done which, uh, within each of the villages? Some of the challenges, obviously, for example, if you're processing lease payments or health insurance claims, are privacy or security or accuracy. So some of the inventions are indeed about effectively splitting jobs, getting them in a secure way uh, to individual villages and also in a redundant way so that the data and information that comes back is accurate and then assembling them again in an accurate way. And so if you have to do that for 900 million healthcare claims a year, that's a huge amount of volume that would have to be split and, and reassembled. And so the research is really looking at those challenging workflow problems and creating a solution so that indeed uh, people, often women, can continue to live with their family in the village and have a great income and support a sustainable society in India.